Good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, Mary. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Really good to see you. Let's see. Hello there, Roberto. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome to today's class. Thank you. Let's see. We are missing quite a lot of students. <laughs> okay, so we're going to wait for them. Let me check. How are you, Jamilet? How is your audio? Jamilet Torres, how are you? Hi. I can't hear you. All right, let's see, Carla Hernandez. How are you, Carla? Fine, thank you, good night. Excellent, welcome, good evening. Let's see. Hello, Carlos, how are you? I'm fine, everything all right. Take it easy. <laughs> You're taking it easy, all right, excellent, really good. <laughs> That's great, that's great. Welcome to today's class. Let's see, Alejandro. How are you, Alejandro? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, Alejandro? Uh -huh, let's check those audios, everyone. Let's see. All right, so <clears throat> welcome to today's class, my dear students. It's a pleasure to see you. It's an honor to have you in the class. It's good to see that you are receiving the content. And as far as I, as I know right now, you're practicing on the platform and that's great. So I hope you continue doing it. Remember that you need to advance as much as you can in the platform, right? Let me share with you my <coughs> PPT. Let's see. We have Monday, August 30, 2021. Class number five. What's this? <laughs> That's the topic, all right? So let's see. We only have two questions. No more than that to introduce the class. Let's see. When do we use this? Any volunteer? Hola. Hello. Uh -huh. oh, OK, let's see. I have two participants. Excellent. I have, let's see, Mary, tell me, when do we use this? Whenever you're thinking about one object, which is, ne is near you. Excellent. Really good. Thank you, Mary. And when do we use this? Let's see, another one. Don't be shy, <laughs> raise your hello. hand. Ah, hello, Roberto, okay. We beat number one. No, number, number two, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why it says three, it's number two. When, when do we use when, Okay. We use this when you are talking about two or more objects that are near you. Exactly, very good. For example, if I have three agendas or if I have like five books, right? That's when I use this. Thank you, Roberto. Excellent. Now let's check the information that your classmates have shared. I'm going to need William. Hello, William. Hello, Miss. Good night. Good evening. Nice How to meet you? you. Nice to see you too, William. Let's see, William. Can you please read this information? Okay. With this 
whenever you're talking about one object, which is never you, your. Exactly, which is near you. Que está cerca, near you. Right? Excellent. Thank you, William. Okay. I will have Angela Rosario, please read the information about this. Good night. Good evening. Hello there. We use this this when you are talking about two or more objects that are near, near, near you. Uh -huh, exactly, thank you. If you have more than one or two objects, we use this. And I want to be very clear with this, with this information, because I don't want you to get confused between this and this, all right? It's different, so you need to learn how to use them. If I have two bottles, if I have two bottles, Two of them, I'm going to use this. If I only have one bottle, I'm going to use this. Okay, period. There's no more than. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> now let's check. Let's continue. We have a conversation, guys. I really love conversation. That's your best, that's your best part to practice your English. Let's see. I'm going to have. Let me see, we have Pedro. Uh, uh, let me check because last class, I think some of you did the practice. I'm going to have Kate is going to be Karen. And Oscar Carranza, you are going to be Joe. And the waiter, the waiter is going to be Alejandro Contreras. Oh no, where are you carved cake? Relax, are they in your food? No, they are not. They are gone. I bet they're in the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are they you came? Oh. Wait, Karen, the waiter is going to be Alejandro. This is you, okay? Yes, they are. Thank you. No problem. And is this, and is this your wallet? Um, no, it's not. Where is your water, Joy? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. <laughs> it's a pretty fun, pretty fun story. All right. Now, if you understand the context, they lost everything and they believed that they have it, but they didn't. All right. Thank you, Oscar, Alejandro, and Karen. Excellent. Now, listen. <laughs> let me um let me explain you some pronunciation words that we have in here. For example, horse, horse, horse. This one, gone. They are gone. Gone. They are gone. Keys. Keys, keys, no keys, keys, all right. Um, then we have another one. Mm. Only those, I bet it was pretty easy. Let's go with William, you are Joe. Roberto, you are the waiter. Maria Teresa, you are Kate, action. Oh no, where are? My car keys. Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. 
Uh -huh, Robert. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are they your cookies? Yes, they are. Thank you. Sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Um, no, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joy? In my pocket. What a minute. That is my wallet. <laughs> Thank you so much, William, Maria Teresa, and Roberto. Thank you. Excellent. Now, okay, let's see. It. Let's see the pronunciation of this. All right. Are this your keys? Are this your keys? And we have another one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Alas, and of course they are not, they're gone. Ah, table, all right? Table. It's different right. table. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good, table. Now let's go with the next. People, Gladys Escobar, you're going to be Kate. Francisco Fernandez, you are Joe. And Aníbal Galicia, you are the waiter. Action. Oh no, where are my air case? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they are no, they are guns. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, not it's nowhere. It's your way, Joe. In my pocket, white ammunit. That is my wallet. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see, Gladys. Repeat after me. Where? Where? Is? Is? Your wallet. Your wallet. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Where is your wallet? All right, everyone, and this last part. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, right? That is my wallet. Excellent, Gladys, Aníbal, and Francisco. Let's go with, <coughs> um, Carlos Guevara, you are Joe. And, um, wait a minute, let me check. And uh, Carla de Hernandez, you are Kate. And Emilio, you are the waiter. Action. Oh no, where are my car's case? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. You mean are ways good games? Yes, they are. Thank you. Sí, no problem. And is your wallet? Mm, no, it's not words. Is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Wallet. Excellent. Very really good job. Excellent. Now let's see, Emilio. Repeat after me. Are this 
Are this your keys? Your keys. One more time, Emilio. Are these ah, your okay. keys? Well, excuse me. One more time. Are these your keys? Keys or keys or keys? No, no, no. Look, this one is the possessive adjective your. Are this your keys? Excellent. Very good. Very good. Are Repeat after this your keys. Mm -hmm. Next. Repeat after me, Emilio. And is. And. And it's this and this your wallet, your wallet, mm -hmm. and and is this is this your wallet, your wallet. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Excellent, thank you. Let's create, let's go with. Carlos Guevara, repeat after me. Minute. Minute. Mm -hmm. Three times. Minute. 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 Excellent. Very good. There you have it. All right, everyone. Now, um, something key in here is that don't go, and this is for everyone. And I know that every time that we are learning something, we tend to do that, right? Like we want to say everything fast. Now. With this language, it's pretty amazing when you learn to speak faster, but you need to relax. Don't go like in a hurry because nobody is in a hurry right now. Repeat carefully. Where are my car keys? Okay. Are these your keys? And is this your wallet? Take it easy, be relaxed, don't overwhelm yourself, okay? Don't be like, excuse me, are these your tacos? No, because then you won't know how to pronounce. What I want is that you learn to pronounce easy and calm, right? Excellent, thank you everyone. Um, and yeah, we don't have, we have no one else. <laughs> Let's go with the following. This was an exercise for last class. Some of you participate, others weren't able to participate. And let's get your answers. For example, number one, what are these? They are keys. What's this? It's a CD player. Let's go with Alejandro, number three. What do you have for number three? Mm -hmm. What this is back? The question, tell me the question. A eh? what is back? Mm, okay, remember that in demonstratives we have this and this. Which mm. of both are you using? What this, what this back? What's this or what's what? that or what's this? What this back? Okay, let's check this construction. Thank you, Alejandro. Let's see, Mary, what do you have for number three? What are this? Exactly. They are, uh -huh, are this, they are handbags. Hand Excellent, very good. Don't forget the construction, everyone. What are these, right? What are these? They are handbags. Excellent, very good. Remember that if you use this, you need the R. If you use this, you need the is, right? The verb to be is. Thank you, Mary. Roberto, what do you have for number four? Excuse me, rolling screen. Oh, number four. Let's see if I can make it bigger for you. 
Number four, about the, the watch or the clock. Excuse me. Oh, no, it's, it doesn't I'm appear. Screen. Ah, it's not charging. No le ha cargado quizá por, for any reason. <laughs> All right, don't worry, it. it happens. Do not worry. Let's go with um, William. What do you have for number four? Let's see. What is what this mm -hmm. is a clock? Excellent. Very good. It's a clock. Excellent. Thank you. Number five. Carla de Hernandez. What do you have for number five? What this? It's cell phone. It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very really good. And the last one, <clears throat> number six, Nelson David. Help me, please. What this? This is, what do you say? Uh, lentes in English? Glasses. Okay, gracias. What this? Glasses. It's a glass. Glasses. Okay. Let's see. In this one, my dear students, thank you, Nelson. In this one, aha, uh -huh, Maria, let's see what do you have for this one? A teacher number four, what is what is this? Uh, it is a wash or yeah. clock? You can use either or, cualquiera de los dos está bien, watch or clock. Thank you. Excellent thing, don't worry. Now, for this one, my dear students, number six, pay attention. We only have one pair of glasses. But you cannot, specifically with this object, you cannot say, what's this? You should say, what are this? Okay? They are my glasses. You need the plural because you're using glasses. You cannot say glass. This is my glass. No. It's different. Glasses from glass. Okay? So that's why you need the plural in number six. What are this? These are my glasses, right? No more than that. Thank you very much because I know you have been practicing with it. Let's go with this one. Just no word questions with B. I'm going to have Angela Rosario, please read the first question. Is this? Your wallet. Complete. Is this your wallet? Okay. Is this your wallet? Thank you. Okay. Carlos Guevara, give me the answer for that question. Um, yes. Is this your wallet? You have two answers, yes and no. Yes is this. Uh -huh. No. No, it's not. Excellent, thank you. Yeah, right now we are just reading, okay? Thank you, Carlos. And even <laughs> question number two are? Are these your keys? Thank you. Gladys Escobar, the answer please. Yes. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> uh, no, mm -hmm. they are no. Excellent. No, they are not. Thank you, Gladys. Let's go with the following. Ruben Perez. Where? Where is your work? Thank you. Nelson David, the answer. It is, it is in my pocket. Thank you. Oscar Carranza, the question, the following question, where? Oh, 
Oscar, are you there? Sorry. Uh, Where are my keys? Thank you. William, the answer. They are on the table. Excellent, very good. They are on the table. All right, everyone. With this, you need to be specific carefully. If you notice, the first question starts with verb to be. Is this? Are this? That's verb to be. The following questions start with double H words. You will see double H words just in a couple of minutes, okay? Just to be clear, they are different kinds of questions. They are not the same questions, okay? In this one, you use is. In this one, you use a double H word. Una palabra que comienza con doble H, a double H word. And if you notice, the answer is different. For example, is this your wallet? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where is your wallet? Oh, it's in my pocket. You have a long answer with these other types of questions. Okay? Now, let's move on with this information. Using this or this in questions. I will have Karen. Please, Karen, tell me the structure. Bear to be, applause, this. For this, for this, plus complement. Plus question? Question. Question, okay. Mark. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Question, Mark. There you have it, my dear students. This is the. Check this one. Is this your wallet? This is the structure. Verb to be is our am um, plus this or this plus any complement that you need or that you want to ask. And then you have the question mark. Simple as that. All right. Copy this on your notebook, please. Tomorrow I'm going to ask you about it. Okay, finished? Finish. Excellent, very good. Now, let's check. We only have two examples, but let's check them. Getting examples. I will have Roberto, please, number one. Is this your backpack? Hmm? Is this your backpack? What is this, Roberto? Where to be? What is this? Subtic. This is demonstrative. Subtic demonstrative. No, the subject is backpack. In this case, this is your demonstrative. Ahorita está en el tema demonstrative, okay? Adjective demonstrative. Uh -huh. No, this one is solo es así, demonstrative. Demonstrative. Ajá, excelente. And this is your verb to be. Lo que quiero que vean es que estas preguntas comienzan con verb to be. All right? Thank you, Roberto. William, number two. Number two. Art is your books. Excellent, very good. Art is your books. When you have like five books, right? Ok, okay. plural. Es por eso, ¿verdad, Miss? Exactly, there you have it, plural, excellent. That's when okay. we use this. 
For example, okay. I have two agendas. Let's suppose I have two agendas. So are this your agendas? Are this, okay. Excellent, thank you, William. Now, do you have any question, my dear students, about this structure specifically? I'm asking you because you're going to practice alone. So I need to know if you have questions or everything is clear. Todo está claro? No tenemos preguntas? Okay, ya me. Yes, Francis. Uh -huh. Miss, how is the pronunciation in this and this? Mm -hmm. Like that. Como usted lo acaba de hacer. This, this. Okay. This. this. Right? This, it's like a strong, it's como más fuerte, this. This one is this. Like, easy going, right? No questions, it's everything clear, no doubts. No hay preguntas, no hay dudas. Vamos a pasar a la práctica y si tienen dudas o preguntas, pueden hacerlas ahorita. No. All right. Let's move on. Practice time. Instructions. I will have Alejandro, please, read the instructions. Word individually. One word individually. Two, create one question using this or this. Three, remember the structure. For share your question with the class. Excellent. Thank you, Alejandro. That's correct. All right. Remember the structure. Bear to be plus this or this. No pueden ir los dos juntos. Solo pueden utilizar uno. Por eso tiene la pleca aquí. Okay. This or this plus compound plus question. Okay. Let's work on this, please. I'm done. Excellent, very good. This car is red. Repeat again, please. This car is red. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, Alejandro, it's correct. Su oración está correcta. But it's question. Quiero una pregunta. Ah, ¿Cómo okay. la haría? Vea my la estructura. Car, my car is red. Pero ahora en pregunta, porque ahí me está dando afirmación. Uh, <laughs> ya lo corrijo, Miss. Deme unos segundos. Bye. It's okay. Don't worry. Somebody else who has finished? Yeah. For example. <laughs> Are these your parents or is this your daughter? Exactly, very good. Is this your daughter? That's correct, my friend. Are these your parents? Very good, pretty good. Let's go, thank you, Aníbal. Let's go with Roberto. I think you wanted to participate, right? Okay. Are these shoes yours? 
Are these your shoes? Excellent, very good. That's the question. Are these your shoes? That's correct, my friend. Aníbal and Roberto. Let's have Maria Teresa, thank you. Are these your pants? Are these? Your pants. All right, excellent, very really good. Excellent. Nelson. Is this your notebook? There you have it, very really good, excellent. Excellent. Let's have somebody else. William? Hi. Is this your pencil? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Very good. Are these your colors? There you have it. Very good, William. It's correct. Thank you. Karen. Is this your table? Is this your table? Sí. Yes. Excellent, Karen. Is this your table? Very good. Let's see. All right, thank you. Uh, let's have Angela Rosario. Is this her shoe? Is this her shoe? Only one, right? Okay. If yes. you're talking about, oh, excellent, really good. Let's go with Gladys Escobar. Gladys. Oscar Carranza. Este, teacher. Ah, yes, Gladys. <laughs> Sorry, estaba en la sala. Okay. Había ido a tomar agua, perdón. Don't worry. Is, are, uh -huh, is, are you right, Oscar? A ver, a ver, repeat again. Are, are you driving this car? Are you driving this car? All right, yeah, it's correct. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Oscar, now it's your turn, Oscar. Thank you. Okay. Is this, you, is this um, a dog? Is this a dog? Very good, excellent. <laughs> Ruben Perez. Is this your cell phone? Very good, yes, indeed. Francisco Fernandez. Are these day being fantastic? All right, excellent, yes. Let's go with Jamilet Torres. I can hear you, Jami. Open your microphone. Mm -mm. I don't know, algunos de ustedes escuchan. Es que no sé si será que a mí me falla el, el audio, ya mire. No, no, no lo sé. No, teacher, se le escucha muy bien. All right, uh, okay. So let's see, Jamilet, maybe the headphones. Oh, I have an idea, Jamilet. If, because I can't hear you, no la puedo escuchar, I can't hear you in the chat box. Pónganlo en la chat box. Let's continue with Carlos Guevara. 
Okay. Is this your mother-in-law? Excellent. There you have it. Let's see, Alejandro. Did you fix your sentence, your question? Your microphone. <laughs> This is your car. Is this your car? Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. Exactly. There you have it. Ya ven, solo tienen que cambiarlo. No es, no es necesario buscar hacer otra. Solo tienen que cambiar. Basically, eso es todo lo que hacen con esto. Let's see. Is this my favorite color? Okay, Yami. In this one, is this my favorite color? Hasta ahí lo puedes dejar. ¿Verdad? And then you answer like, yeah, my favorite color is blue or something else. Now, let's pay attention to the following, my dear students. Double H questions using B, okay? In the first ones, in these ones, using these or this, we use verb to be at the beginning. In this ones, we're going to use double H words. I will have Maria Teresa, please read the structure. Um, w H um, word, word, huh? word. Plus. a plus there to be plus the subject. Plus complement, plus. Plus question. Plus question. Question mark. Question mark. <clears throat> Excellent, thank you, Mary. Now, everyone, this one is different. You may copy this one on your notebook, please, because you are going to use it. Okay, I believe that you finished copying this structure. Let's move on. If you notice in here, it says double H words, means which are the double H words? Let's see. Double H words. William, the first one, please. Your microphone. Whoa. Well, cool. Who? 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 Uh -huh, exactly. Equal asking about a person. Thank you, William. Excellent. The second one, Emilio. Okay. Hey. What? W A. What? W ski book. I think her idea. They. I idea. Excellent. Very good, Emilia. Thank you. So we Thank use you. what to ask about a thing or idea. Or the. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you, Roberto. Number three. When asking about time. Excellent, thank you. Aníbal, number four. Where, asking about a place. Excellent, there you have it, very good. <clears throat> Nelson Davis, number five. We, Why? what do you say? Why asking about a reason? Excellent, very good. And how the last one? Go, go, 
equal asking about a person. See, sí. close your microphone. I'm gonna ask somebody else. Carlos, how? The last one. Asking about a way of doing something. Exactly. There you have it, my dear students. This is key. Esto es clave para ustedes. These are the double H words. Okay? Double H words. We use who to ask about a person. Who are your parents? Who is your mother? Who is she? Okay. We ask, we use what to ask about a thing specifically or an idea. Hey, um, what's your what's your name? That's a thing you're asking. Hey, what time is it? You're asking about a thing. When asking about a time. When are you coming? When are you leaving? Okay, we use when, when we need to know specifically the time. Where? Hey, where are you having dinner? Where are you going? Uh, where are you staying? Why? Asking about a reason. Um, tell me why you are angry. Tell me why are you angry, okay? Tell me why are you hungry, all right? And how about a way of doing something? How do you prepare coffee? How do you go to school, all right? Different things. Copy this on your notebooks, please. This is key, and I don't want you to lose it. No quiero que se pierdan esto, así que copienlo, please. All right. Finished copying this information? Finish, miss. Finish, miss. Finish. All right. I see some of you are still taking notes. So let's wait one more minute and then I will change it. All right. Let's move on. We have guiding examples. Okay. Let's see, Angela Rosario, number one. Who is your sister? Excellent, thank you. Alejandro, what's my, in number one, what's my double H word? Sería, sería guo. Who? Who? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Who? What's my verb to be, Alejandro? Your. My verb to be, Alejandro? Uh, is, is the chair. Very good, very good. There you have it. Thank you. Now, the subject, we can call this, all this subject, all right? Of course, you, my dear students, because you are advancing, you know that this is the possessive, but together we can call it complement. Uh, no, together we can call it subject. 
All right. Let's go with Carla de Hernandez. Number two, please. What's the girl's name? Mm -hmm. What's the girl's name? What's Thank the you. Girl's name? Okay, William, what's my double H word? What is? What? What? Mm -hmm. Esa es mi palabra con WH, double H word. What? What? Okay. Entendí. Sí. Gracias. Excellent. What's my verb to be, William? This. Excellent. Very really good. In here, we have a contraction, my dear students. Okay. Okay. Is the same saying what or what is the girl's name? It's the same thing, okay? The rest, this one, the girl, you know that is the subject and name is the complex. Don't forget the question mark. Thank you, William. Let's go with Nelson David, number three. When is the party? When is the party? Thank you. Maria Teresa, what's my double H word? Repeat, teacher, please. What's my double H word in number three? Number three, Gwen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What's my Gwen. verb to be, Teresa? Is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is. Ex the party, we can call it the subject. Thank you, Teresa. Number four, Roberto. Where are the keys? Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Oscar Carranza. In number four, what's my double H word? Where? Mm -hmm, exactly. What's my verb to be, Oscar? R. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. With this, we're making the positions. Por eso no voy rápido. I'm not going fast. I need you to locate the positions. Carlos Guevara, number five. Why are, why are the book on the floor? Books. <laughs> Thank you. Why are the books on the floor? Let's see. Aníbal, what's my double H word in number five? Why? Mm -hmm. What's my verb to be? R. Exactly. What's my subject? The books. Mm -hmm. The subject pronunciation, the floor is the complement. Excellent. There you have it, Aníbal. Very good. And the last one, number six, Francisco Fernandez. Read the question, please. Repeat, please. Read the question, number six. Only read it. Solo let. Only read it. Okay. Um, I don't see. The present, the present, la presentación. Oh, you don't, oh, ah, maybe it's charging. Maybe it's sometimes, remember everyone, that sometimes the internet fails and that's why it's, it's low. So don't worry, don't worry. Karen, tell me number six, please. Who are you parents today? Exactly. So is W. Mm -hmm. R is better to be. Your parents is complement. All right. Your parents are the subject. And today is my subject. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Karen, very good. Thank you. Now, listen. My dear students. Wait. Let's wait. Okay. How? I see in the presentation. Oh, you see the presentation now, Francisco? Yes. Okay, read number six, please. 
How are your parents today? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now, listen, everyone. How it's in the category of double H words. No se extrañen porque no, tiene, no comienza con WH. Entra en la categoría de double H words. All right? So don't be scared of using it. Don't be scared of using it. You can use it because it enters into the category of double H words. With this being said, with these examples and the structure, I think you're going forward. Let's see, let's practice. Ah, oh, by the way, do you have any questions or doubts? Questions, doubts about this one? No, everything is clear. All right. Nothing. Excellent, thank you, William. Be clear. Excellent, now let's work on this one. Um, practice time. Instructions. Roberto, please read the instructions. Number one, word it is to Number two, create one question was using W using w two words. W A share it. Excuse me. Double H. Double double H. Double H. Double H. Uh -huh. Words. Number three. Share your question with the class. Excellent. Thank you, Robert. All right, kids. All right, my dear students. Let's practice. Create your own question. Maria, do you have a question? Tiene una pregunta? Or you have your question? Uh, I, um, ya tengo una. <laughs> ah, okay. Hello. Let's see, Mary. Um, miss, when is your birthday? Right, excellent. When is your birthday? Excellent. Very good. I have mine. Excellent, animal. Tell me. Who's your English teacher? Mm -hmm. Who's your English teacher? Very good. Excellent. Teacher. Yes, Francisco. How is my dad held? Ah, repeat again, Alejandro. Creí que era Francisco. <laughs> repeat again, please. How is my dad held? Ah, how is my dad held? My dad. Ah, my dad. Ah, Ajá. okay. Porque estamos hablando de la salud de su padre. Entonces, necesitamos un posesivo. That's. Coma ese sería, ¿verdad? Después de dar una coma y la S. Ajá. No es coma, es apostrofe. Ah, apostrofe. Ah, okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Alejandro. Finish, Miss. Eh, okay, William, tell me. Where are the water? Where is? Where are the water? Waters or water? Water, water, de agua. Sí, pues sí. Pero entonces, ¿cuál sería mi, mi verb to be? Porque no puedo utilizar dónde están las aguas. Por eso le, por eso le dije al principio, where is? Where is, ok. Where, where is the water? Excellent, very good. 
There you have it, William. Excellent. Finish. All right, Roberto, tell me yours. When is your birthday? Ah, le copio a Maria, Roberto. <laughs> That's Mary. <laughs> no, but it's correct. It's it's correct. It's good. Don't worry. When is your birthday? Excellent. Let's see somebody else. Aha, uh -huh, Francisco. Yes, please. What is your favorite hobby? There you have it. Very good. Very good. Somebody else? Oscar Carranza, do you have yours? Yes. Where are the monkeys? Where are the monkeys? Very good. Let's suppose we are in a zoo. Excellent. Where are the monkeys? And let's have... Let's have... Let me see. Carla de Hernandez, tell me your sentence, your question. How is your car? How is your car? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's see somebody else. I'm looking for the ones that are raising their hands. Ah, Karen. Yes, Karen. This is the sky blue. With the, the sky blue. Oh, okay. Is the sky blue? All right, excellent. Very good. But remember, Karen, su, su pregunta está perfecta con la otra structure. Pero ahora necesita la double H word. Que son estas. Who, what, when. Right. There you have. Porque no alcanza a escuchar si mencionó una o si. We. Fine. Uh, where? Uh, why? Why? Ah, number five. Why? Why? Why is this sky blue? <laughs> yeah, it's correct, honey. Okay. Excellent. Very good. All right, somebody else. Ajá, uh -huh, Carlos Guevara, don't fall asleep. No se duerma, ajá. Huh? Tell me yours. Who is your favorite play soccer? Soccer player. Player, player, soccer. Uh -huh. No, soccer player. Soccer player. Ajá, uh -huh. excellent. Who's your favorite soccer <laughs> right. Yeah. Who's your favorite soccer player? Excellent, Carlos. Very good. All right, everyone. Your time has come. <clears throat> You're just about to go to sleep or some of you are going to have dinner right now. All right. So um, this is it pretty much for today's class. I hope everything is clear for you because tomorrow we're going to work in the same, but we're going to move forward. And I'm going to say this. Por favor, si tienen alguna duda, no duden en preguntarme, no se queden con eso, porque si no, no van a avanzar. Y yo lo que quiero es que everything is clear, right? Ajá, Mary, tiene una pregunta. Let's see, Mary. Sí, una pregunta. En las lecciones que tenemos que contestar en la plataforma, no... No es que tenemos que ir viendo la clase y esa es la que tenemos que ir haciendo. Tenemos que adelantar. Y sí, ustedes pueden adelantar con okay. todo, con todo, todo lo que queramos. Sí, todo lo que ustedes quieran. Eso está okay. perfecto. Y mejor porque no se quedan atrás. Eh, lo único que yo voy a ir desarrollando siempre estos temas aquí, aunque ustedes vayan adelantados, yo siempre los voy a ir desarrollando aquí por si hay alguna duda. O vamos como arriba en un tema, pero en otro, híjole, no, no, verdad. Así que sí. Gracias, eh, Miss, gracias. Ok, ya saben, eh, de hecho, bueno, Mary, está ejemplo que ella buscó ahora mi ayuda para unos ejercicios. Ustedes pueden hacerlos. Si ustedes me llaman por teléfono, es muy probable que yo no les pueda responder. Yo paso full ocupada. Pero si ustedes me escriben, Miss, mire, ¿cómo puedo hacer este ejercicio? Y otra cosa, yo sí con gusto le voy a ayudar, pero sean específicos. Porque así 
nos ahorramos tiempo a ambos. Les ahorro tiempo a ustedes y ustedes me ahorran tiempo a mí. Si me dicen el 1.1, Miss, o el 1.2, Miss, ¿ok? All right, everyone. So that was pretty much it. Goodbye. Take care. Have a pleasure. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Miss, Bye, for teacher. your thank time. You, thank you. All right. Thank you Good for night, for all. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. The same for you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. Drink coffee. Beba café. Yo llevo como tres tazas de café. You can drink coffee. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.